welcome to Fast Five Friday, where you can catch up on weekly topics in your own space on your own time. Number five. A former police officer and NASA executive now charged with second-degree murder in the killing of his next-door neighbor in Northern Virginia. Law enforcement confirmed to Fox 5 he was also involved in two deadly police-involved shootings within a year. And according to newspaper reports, there were claims of racial discrimination. Fox 5's Evan Lambert live with the very latest from Springfield tonight. Evan. Jim, Michael Heddle shot and killed those two people nearly 20 years ago. He was cleared in those shootings and then eventually resigned from the police force. He moved here to Virginia. Now he is accused of shooting and killing his neighbor right in front of these townhomes just behind me. This is 52-year-old Michael Heddle. After a 25-year career in the Navy, he has been working most recently as an executive for NASA in risk mitigation. Police say Tuesday night he shot and killed his 24-year-old neighbor, Javon Prather. Prather was also in the military. The National Guard confirming he was an infantryman. Fairfax County police have not said what the motive was, but neighbors and Prather's mom tell Fox 5 the neighbors had a long history of arguing over complaints Heddle made to the HOA about her son. Prather's mom called it harassment. Verbal threats, um, calling the neighborhood association, over, uh, even over. complaining about dog feces in the backyard. I mean, it's, he was calling about anything. It, it, it's crazy. Nobody deserves to die like that. I don't care what kind of disagreements you're having uh, or whatever. It, no one deserves to die in cold blood like that. Uh, my son was unarmed, as far as I know. Um, he was checking the mailbox, and the neighbor came out and shot him in cold blood more than once. Number four. China is taking pleasure in U.S. mishandling of coronavirus. Ninety-eight thousand four hundred and twenty-four cases have been reported. U.S. health officials have a stern word of caution: preparedness is appropriate, panic is not. There are things that actually can harm you and your community, and going out and hoarding masks is one of those things. Since the outbreak began, millions of people around the world have donned surgical masks, hoping to fend off the virus. Chinese President Xi Jinping was seen wearing one in public. But top health officials and experts say masks often don't provide adequate protection against something like coronavirus. Number three. Harvey Weinstein, the disgraced media mogul. He's possibly facing 29 years. Harvey Weinstein has been found guilty of count two, which is a predatory act. He has also been found guilty of rape in the third degree. These are charges that involve Jessica Mann. She said that, uh, excuse me, uh, excuse me, let me go back here. Rape in the third degree, count two, sorry, predator, criminal act. I take that back, sorry, criminal act in the first degree. That's Mimi Haley and rape in the third degree, Jessica Mann guilty. So let me go back over this, sorry. Uh, predatory sex assault, counts one and three, those were the most serious. We're hearing not guilty. Count two, criminal sex act in the first degree, that's Mimi Haley. She was the former production assistant who said she had been had sex forced on her in 2006 guilty of that charge not guilty on rape in the first degree against jessica mann she is the actress who said that she was raped in 2013 and guilty on rape in the third degree what's really significant here is that he has been found guilty of predatory sexist that was also involving the actress annabella shiora what is significant is that that count that count requires a mandatory minimum of 25 years in prison, maximum life in prison. So at this point, 
Harvey Weinstein is going to go away for the rest of his life. Number two. On this day in history, March 6, 1857, the Dred Scott decision of the Supreme Court denied blacks U.S. citizenship. In 1801, Roger Brooke Taney, the politically minded son of Maryland tobacco planter, settled here to practice law. He married the sister of Francis Scott Key, won election to state senate, and worked his way to Washington, where he landed his dream job as Chief Justice of Supreme Court. Taney, pronounced Tarney, is buried in the graveyard here. His house he owned is now a museum, and for 85 years his bronze bust with stern eyes has gazed out in front of the courtyard of the now City Hall. As African Americans, Mr. Mahone suggests And also on this day in history, Shaquille Rashawn Shaq O'Neal, a retired professional American basketball player who was an analyst on the television program on TNT, has a birthday today. Happy birthday, Shaq.